There's so much history, it's just unbelievable. The history here is one of my favorite things to tell customers about. We're learning more things uh, as we go along. After the Arnold family, uh, there is a family, uh, two Greek brothers, uh, Christakos, that had Arnold's for a number of years, from 59 into the uh, mid-70s. A very colorful man. He uh, ran the dice tables at the second floor in the Beverly Hills Supper Club. Uh, he was a professional wrestler back in the 50s. Actually, they were scouting places to uh, just take outside shots of um, for Harry's Law, and then um, they came here for lunch, and uh, we started talking to them. They fell in love with us and the place, and the film crew uh, started going back and forth with the producers and said, we need to recreate this bar on the set. So uh, that's when uh, Mike Listo, one of the producers, came in and uh, started working with my husband for us to ship things out there and uh, it just kept going back and forth and so that's how it all started. I think that's it. Oh yeah, there's oh, some down at the very bottom, more t-shirts. When we heard the show was canceled, uh, our manager, Chris Ronison, uh sent him a bottle of Jameson as a condolence. Uh, and the next thing we know, we're getting a call from the, the guy that's striking the set, and he's saying, hey, you guys want all the Arnold stuff out of the set? And of course, we said we'd love to have it.